I'm Kristen Kopp and I'm a costume designer. I began my career as a student first and then after education I began my career as a costume PA on a movie called License to Wed with John Krasinski and Mandy Moore. It's a big learning curve when you go from learning about things in the book and then moving into putting all of that to practice and understanding how the industry actually works and all the moving parts of it. I was a costume PA for about three years, doing little projects in between when I could, and then I decided to go back and get my master's. My transition from being a costume PA into being a costume designer has been slow and arduous, but you know, it's kind of like a balance of moving from working on bigger things and working on smaller things and like I'm taking experiences from both and adding to them. I would consider one of my inspirations to be Edith Head, who was also a costume designer. I think she started in 1924 and was in the industry for a long time until her death in the 80s. At that time when she began, they were employed by the studios, so she was doing all the movies coming out of Paramount or all the movies coming out of Universal and was a very busy, busy woman. And she kind of established her name by approaching it in a little more business-like sense as well, that she took it from being just about clothes and moved it into story a little bit which is an also a very inspiring part of her career that helped me move into costume design. I think Edith, at the time when she was coming into filmmaking, it, it was, as it kind of still is, a very male predominant <laughs> industry. And she really branded herself in a way that she became part of the moving pieces of making a film. And I think it was really important in her career moving forward and for people knowing about costume designers in general and that that was a position in films that was adding to this overall picture that we we're seeing. My experience now as a costume designer is a lot different from Edith's at the time because there's so much more content being made and there's so much more being produced. It's just a different process and she was taking on so many different stories at the time, whereas now the way you approach a project is more in like chunks of time. But she was probably working on a lot of different things at the same time. I knew about Edith Head when I was in school um, studying because she's just a well-known film costume designer. But then also I found out about her as I started coming into the industry and my first job as a costume PA was at Universal and her, the building there that we work out of for costumes is named the Edith Head Building. I have this Edith Head book, Edith Head's Hollywood, which actually was given to me by my mother. Um, as I've gotten involved in the industry, the film industry, it's kind of reached out to family and friends in a way that they also want to know more about the industry. And my mother found this book and read it and enjoyed it and passed it along to me and thought that would be a good inspirational tool to me, which it has been. I wanted to go into costume design for the storytelling aspect. I believe I'm a storyteller and that I can convey story through visual very strongly and that I feel is my calling and why I'm in this industry and why I pursue the career I pursue. So Edith tried to incorporate the clothes into the storytelling as well, which helped bring us to part of the conversation of how we could incorporate into what these characters were wearing or what their looks might be into what that said about the character and how it helped the actor to become more involved in their character and in telling the story and what they had to do through the script. I think I've learned from Edith 
that you can treat this as a business as well. It's not only an artistic endeavor and to present yourself that way. And I think it's really important. And I think it adds another angle to this career and what it is and what we're trying to get out of it and produce. Oh man, if I could talk to Edith now, I would like to ask her about Betty Davis, who I think is an amazing woman who she got to work with a couple times. I would also like to ask her about just how she conducted her fittings and worked with people because it's an interesting part of our process always, working with the actors. And she worked with some of the best ever. Edith Head, being a woman in the industry, especially at the time, there was another costume designer, Adrian, who was a man. So she was kind of the competing female costume designer. And it just was a very male-dominated industry. And she was there and she made a point to brand herself and to be known as a costume designer and to have her position known. Well, Edith definitely paved the way for us having a place at the table and the production table. And so I think it's been important for costume designers in general, just being part of the conversation and moving the story forward. And she really helped to establish our position and our department within the overall scheme of making a movie. I think Edith was very good about being very confident of her work and her decisions. And I think that really helped her move forward because a confidence is infectious, and I think she helped other people believe in what she was doing and what she had to say. My advice to women starting a career in film would be to keep going because there's a lot of ups and downs, and you just have to keep pursuing it and keep trying to meet as many people as you can and work with as many people as you can. And you find your groove and your people and don't give up. Because <laughs> you'll have times when you want to, but you just got to keep going.